Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. We're now moving on with a brand new episode. Uh, this would be 12, I think. Uh, last time, we did a lot of boom booms uh, with Panem, who's down there with his sniper rifle, as you know, but we are going into this station over here. Remember, I'm still doing the marathon over on Twitch, so it does mean I am recording this at the same time as I'm live. So we're about to push into here, hence the reason you can see chat below me right here. New and shiny content for YouTubes. <laughs> so we are about to push into this and um, blow some stuff up. So let's see how this goes. So we're going to scan some enemies here, see what we've got. Security turrets. Mark as many enemies as we can. Snipers on the roof. Two of them. I don't know if they're going to jump in that vehicle or not. I don't see anything else. Takeover, ping, malfunction, overload, hijack. So we don't have any, obviously, quick hacks. I'm just wondering how we want to go in there. I think we just run in and gun. That's what I'm thinking. I think we do. I see cars, no man. I was going to say, I thought there was a guy there. Fire and will! I'll be flushed, Mike. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Now or never. Receive. My name is Jefferson. Everything is fine. Surrender. You have no chance of escaping. Oh. Who is that guy? This guy's blocking the door. This guy's just chilling in there having snacks. Can't climb up there. Are 
Anybody else? That was a little messy. A little messy. But I did it. There's for sure going to be more. At least there's a, a cell point literally just at the door. You're just shouting from across the road, you spoon. You're over there. Just shouting like, come on, B. You got this, B. Right, find Hellerman at the gas station. It's going to be that guy in that room, isn't it? Where is he? It's the guy that's watch I mean, popcorn, isn't it? I have to go this way, though, because that door is locked. It's going to be this guy. Oh, quick pee. Whew. I've never run so fast in my life. You can call me Usain Bolt. That was extremely fast, wasn't it? It's like my toilet's right outside the door. In a bottle. <laughs> okay. Make sure I cut that out of the edit. Yep. Otherwise, YouTube would have waited for me to pee, I guess. Anyway, we're back. That has got to be him, right? Oh, he's a weapon vendor. Never mind. Don't make trouble. Be trouble. Don't make trouble. Be trouble. Can you just hear her shouting outside? Okay, so she's... He is in here somewhere. Last year, the city council of Night City absorbed 32... Don't shoot, I'm unarmed. What the hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Hey, Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and lock the door. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. Brought a man with them. A man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. How were you... I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. <laughs> my name is Jefferson. And to be honest, it's pretty clear outside now. Oh, so can... keeping helmet. Going in. Okay, covering you. The city council of Night City absolved 32 corporations from their income tax obligations. Just need to get upstairs now. What the? There's some meds. Who sent you? Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're Inobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. <laughs> <laughs> Seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Takamura! 
Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. He didn't even answer. Never mind. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Alright, you sir are coming with me. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Why do I hear coys? Looks like your new chimbas are here. Whoa. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder cows. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. I should have started as a nomad. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, um, I tried to race Scorpion. It's not Saul. Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all. Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated, dramatic sometimes, but I will manage. And you, you look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think about everything. I think that's it. Until next time. They're coming. You got a minute. Let's move. Until next time. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours now. Oh, hell yeah. Another bike? <laughs> Whoa. Wakey, wakey. Where am I? What is this place? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arisaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? 
Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine Silverhand. Fight. Constructed? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, <laughs> wasn't a bad idea. <laughs> Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kangtao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more Aware. aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial oh. phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes. Which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for Yorinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Uh oh, this could be bad. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. <laughs> Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. 
And you know exactly who he was? A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Oh, well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny. Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time. Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try. Just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. At my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gonk. He just admitted you're right. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. V. Takamura? Oh, here he is. What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. Ninety percent. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Wait. Nah, this heat. My is this bug is bite? Positively parched. Oh. V did not give you a glass of water. Don't be back. Fuck me. Just stop. look at that. That is not me. Never mind. I think he might just be doing this. Sons of bitches. Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching and finally realized what your problem is. Always been a corpo cog, a replaceable part. Once Sokka booted you out, stripped you of perks, best you could hope for was to be a scav exterminator. Sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. So, listen. Will... Will I notice a change, or... Is it one of those things where... I wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human. Rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. How you find life under my skin? Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, 
Used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? What you really, Help really me want? settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Your goal is to bury Arasaka. Demolish it. Mine's to stay above ground. They seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually align pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life? That done, I can burn it to the ground. And there it is. The Crusade. Get to Mikoshi, smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them. Defeat them. Gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Johnny, take a sec. We got it. Fucking hell. Johnny. You still don't see it. But you will one day. Damn. We learned more about Johnny. But now we need to meet Takamura. Oh no. Okay, save. Woo! Woo! But we do have a new bike now. Scorpion's Apollo. And saying that, we may as well sell some stuff that we have here as well. And then we're going to go and meet Takamura. And see what it... Oh, we don't have any things to sell. Never mind. Um, let's sell junk. Literally 11 junk for 66 eddies. So look at Tana. Kind of want to keep the gold stuff. And then we need to go on meet with Takamura down on the street. So we're heading back into the city. So let's head there. And see what's next. Uh, hey, been thinking a lot about things, about the shit with Sol, about Mage and Scorpion, about the family I had lost, le lost, left, adopting. Didn't know it would be this complicated. I don't get what's happening to me. I'm in this city, free to do whatever I want with my life, but fuck, am I really free? If I left my old life just because things started to get a little inconvenient, what would me, uh, what, uh, that would mean I'm always just going to be running. Does that make sense? Maybe Mitch was right, you should go back, settle everything, uh, and once everything for all. And even if, what about, uh, what about Sol? Uh, I can change him, and I, can, uh, I can't change him, and I can't change what I think about him. So don't go lecturing me on compromises, please. I didn't mean to, but trust me, you can live with someone you didn't always go along with. Sounds corny, but it's true, you'll see. Right, we have a, a ways to travel. 3.2 kilometers.
bumpy roads. Feels nice to come back into the city though. What is it, like two episodes we've been out now? One, actually, yeah, one. Saying that though, that was a long episode. Elizabeth is calling. Hello. Hello. We haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Okay. Why am I asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. <laughs> Why call me of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yeah, who by? I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure. Let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. Okay. Elizabeth. She's very cryptic, though. Very cryptic. We can either go do like this mission now with Takamura, or we could uh, look at doing something else. Because we have quite a few side quests to look at as well. Lean on the barrier and wait for Takamura. Is it going to be daytime? Sometime good later. To see you, B. Seems pretty uh, secluded here. Hey, Archmeet. It is appropriate you, for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? from the carrier at anchor in the bay, Saburo's daughter. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. <laughs> Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him work. <laughs> That's supposed to be reassuring. If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Who's this? Why do I recognize him? Oh, 
Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started choking. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about a silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to But you can't it. ignore the truth. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. Sorry, but what would it's you gonna do take now? much longer. Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Oda, Consider you are an Arasaka soldier. This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. Wasn't always what I am now. And your friend here didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. Not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. Whoa! That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Just gotta tell it like it is sometimes. Just a big ass ship a with a Nothing will come of wolf head going past. How come? It should have or been obvious. Head. Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Good fucking riddance. One hour Osaka whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Uh, hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. You said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just the fixer dame. Okaku Akada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. Jig Jig. We must pay this I love that name. a visit. A Jig Jig Street. Will you join me? Sure. Why not? All right. Who's this? Limited time offer on a new car. This old captain guy. Well, I guess it's time to take a trip with Takamura.